November the 11th, Remembrance Day. Such an important day to stop, to gather with community, and to recall those who have offered their service and their lives in times of war. This year it feels to me that Remembrance Day has come early and I have been carrying it in my heart as we in Canada are filled with grief in the light of the death of Nathan Cirillo and Patrice Vincent, as we remember all those women and men who are presently serving in Iraq, which takes us back to remember those who offered their services in Afghanistan and leads us to stretch back even further and to remember Canadian troops' involvement in peacekeeping missions in Rwanda or Cyprus or Bosnia or the Suez, and then to stretch back even further and to recall all those who served in the first two world wars and in Korea. To remember is to engage in an act of gratitude, to give thanks to those who were willing to go forward and to serve, to those who were wounded, to those who gave their lives, to give thanks to their parents, their spouses, their children, their families and friends who also bear the cost and the price of this sacrifice. To offer gratitude is also to ensure that there is proper care and health services and respect that are given to those who returned who may have suffered in body or in mind. I think particularly of those who are living with post-traumatic stress syndrome and the need to care and to be present for them. To remember is also for us as Christians to engage in an act of hope to trust that wars will sometime in hope, in faith, end. We will lift up the dream of people living together in peace and justice when swords will be beaten into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks, when human beings will treat each other equally and with dignity and with care, and we will not resort to the tools of violence, but we will remember, as Jesus said, the things that make for peace. To remember is also to be engaged in an act of hope. It seems to me these days that the alarm bells of fear are ringing so loudly, whether it be terrorism, Ebola, world economy, climate change. Yes, these are all crucial issues and we need to engage and respond, but we need to do it not out of fear, but to offer a clarity and a perspective to move forward into appropriate action and engagement, to be people that remember that God is with us and is working through us and around us so that new things can happen, the things that make for peace. We need to remember on this day that God is always with us in life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God.